uh, up on Anlerg on the Abernethy Reserve. 10 kilometres out from the nearest road, I should think, um, up pretty high, about 800 metres up in the air. A long way out from any civilization. So we've got some uh, peatland restoration contractors um, in their diggers and they're um, basically working on this degraded peatland ecosystem. They're, uh, they're reprofiling peat hags um, so that the water doesn't flow through them as quickly, doesn't keep eroding the peat um, off the site and down to the rivers. So um, yeah, peatland restoration work kind of at its best. Another gang coming in with a, with a helicopter, dumping off stone, which we use to form dams, which again slow the, the flow of the water off the, off the peatland site. So all about restoring the peatland and capturing the carbon, carbon up on the hill. big old operation and getting them out here I think took them all day, one day driving up from, uh, from the reserve down, down in Forest Lodge, um, all the way up, uh, vehicle tracks and then a couple of miles over the hill as well, so a big logistical challenge for sure getting them here. So the site they're working on this year is, is 92 hectares which kind of by itself is sort of a similar size to a lot of nature reserves in particularly in England or in the lowlands of Scotland, you know a fair chunk of land and then that's part of a about a thousand hectares of degraded peatland that we'll be working on over the next five to ten years. And then that sits within the wider Abernethy Nature Reserve, which is 14,000 hectares um, of forest and mountain and, and locks and rivers. And then that itself sits within the bigger Cairngorms Connect partnership area you know, real massive landscape scale stuff. To do the work we need funding. Funding's come from Peatland Action that's administered by uh, Nature Scott. Um, and then we've got support from the National Park Authority's uh, Peatland Officer um, that's going to give us a lot of practical advice about how to do it. Um, and then also we've got support from Cairngorms Connect with funding from the Endangered Landscapes uh, Programme, um, which is helping us to manage the contractors uh, on the site. So a real big partnership project need all these different organizations and people to come together to make this happen. About 20% of Scotland's land area is covered by peatland. A very large proportion of that area is damaged or degraded. So approximately 75% of the area of peatland is degraded in some way. So this is an eroding peat bog that is gradually losing carbon uh, because it's either being washed down a river or lost to the atmosphere. What that essentially means is that the sources of emissions are balanced with the sinks of emissions by 2045. So at the moment, everything we do um, produces greenhouse gas emissions from its sort of industry, through transport, through business, through the food we eat. Um, they're producing emissions, they're the sources of emissions. And then there are sinks, there's carbon being taken out of the atmosphere. And um, that uh, can happen by planting trees, for example. A healthy peatland will um, store carbon, so it locks carbon in the ground. And unhealthy peatlands release carbon. So in the context of trying to get to net zero by 2045, we have to make sure that we um, move, sort of restore, enhance, move back to sort of protect our peatlands so that they work for us, so that they store the carbon, and so that we, we reduce the emissions from the land.
that's what it's all about really, you know, we um, spend a lot of time planning these projects, there's a lot of paperwork needing done, a lot of organising contracts and health and safety and planning all the detail and then it all comes to fruition after, you know, sometimes a few years of planning and then in a couple of years we'll come back up here and we'll see the difference that it's made, you know, we'll see the sphagnum and the heather starting to regrow and the, the peatlands hopefully by then will have stopped eroding, starting to rebuild, so yeah, it's when it all comes good. This is, this is a fantastic project because it makes real something that can often seem abstract. So in my day-to-day -day work I talk about climate policy, about the role of land use in changing um, or contributing to um, uh, mitigating climate change. Uh, but here is really tangible, here there is work that's going on on the ground to, um, to limit the emissions of carbon from the land. And does it make all those meetings and reports <coughs> worthwhile <laughs> to see this? Yes. <laughs>